Hey, it's Angelique. I'm so sorry I missed you yesterday. But you know what? I don't know what it is about Mondays. You know, all weekend you say, well, on Monday, I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start exercising. I'm going to start eating right. And I'm going to do all these things. And then sometimes Monday comes around and you get really busy, which is what happened yesterday. I'm sorry I wasn't here. Um, but what I did want to talk to you about yesterday was, um, was about uh, prebiotic foods or probiotics. Because uh, if you've heard my story, you'll know that back in 2014, my mom was uh, was in the hospital with a ruptured in t uh, hernia in her intestine, and and she almost died on the operating table because the surgeon had trouble getting through all the belly fat. And so since then, I've been really interested in, in the whole gut health thing. And you know that we are all, as humans, composed of uh, human cells, but we also have co are composed of uh, things like bacteria and, and parasites and things like uh, fungi and, and all these things. And there's, there's some researchers that say that we are more microbes or microbiome than we are actual human cells, which is fascinating because you have all these like bugs inside of you. Some are good and some are bad and you, you need both. But there's all these bugs inside of you that even like they're saying that these bugs have their own DNA, they have their own colonies, which is which is fascinating because you know we think that we need to be antibacterial all the time. You know, we wash our hands with antibacterial soap. Whenever we have a little infection or something goes awry, the first thing the doctor will do is give you antibiotics. But what happens is when you take antibiotics, which is great for emergency care, so like you're not gonna die and you're not gonna get worse, it's not life-threatening, but oftentimes our doctors will give us antibiotics when we could just like write it out, even maybe with natural therapies or whatever. But the, when you take an antibiotic, it, it like it's like dropping a nuclear bomb inside your body. So it, it destroys all the good and the bad bacteria but the problem is your doctors won't tell you how to rebuild that bacteria afterwards. They don't talk about probiotics. They don't talk about prebiotics. Prebiotics meaning meaning like um, what's in your what's in your food. What's what's like the fiber in your in your vegetables and in your fruits. There's tons of pre prebiotics in there to kind of help you repopulate all these microbes that were destroyed when you took the antibiotics. And the funny thing is about uh, micro the bi microbiome all these bacteria is that most of them are contained in your gut and as you may or may not, may not know your gut is your second brain and uh, what's interesting is that when there's there's signals that go from the brain to the gut and it's called the vagus nerve 10% uh, of the signals come from the brain into the gut but 90% of the signals come from the gut into the brain so the the brain kind of relies on what's going on in the gut to, to know what it needs to do to keep you healthy, which is really fascinating because you, because the whole idea is that you need to take care of your microbiome, all those bugs that are going on in your body, especially in your gut, because you don't want the good bugs to be outweighed by the bad ones. So ideally you're taking care of your gut. You're not putting in too much toxic stuff like processed foods. You're not putting in a, you know, a bunch of alcohol and too much caffeine and all these things that could destroy the good bugs because you know what? It's the bad ones that are causing you to crave sugar because they're the ones who are like telling you like, I need to eat this, I need to eat this. So oftentimes, as someone who's craving sugar all the time, it might be that there's a, a an overgrowth of this bad bacteria. Really, it's just really fascinating. Actually, it's, it's brand new research. So I'm not going to get too much into it. I don't want to freak you out. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do. And one of the things that I do is I I load up on probiotic food instead of going and buying a bunch of pills that's just going to make for expensive pee. Like all all uh, every meal or almost every meal, I'll load up even just a, a like a forkful of uh, fermented foods. Like these are um, living veggie pickles. They're raw and they're unpasteurized. The raw and unpasteurized is especially important because if they pasteurize this, they're getting rid of all the beneficial um, food for your bacteria that, that, that helps your good bacteria thrive and makes them happy. You know, things like sauerkraut, raw sauerkraut, awesome, awesome for your gut health. A forkful a day and just build up from there because I mean if you're not used to having sauerkraut or things like kimchi or kefir or any of these kinds of fermented foods 
yeah, you might have some digestive issues, but if you just start a little bit day by day and just really be aware of what's going on inside and that you just to just even to remember that that you've got these bacteria in your body that that want to be fed that need to be fed. You know, you ever notice when you eat something um I don't know, say it's a uh, say it's bread or say you have a pizza or something and then you get really gassy and bloaty after. Well, oftentimes those are the bad bacteria that okay, how can I explain this without grossing you out? Is that all of these bacteria, there are organisms and all of these organisms just like us, like we pee, we poop, we sweat. Well, so do they. So oftentimes you'll eat something where you're eating where you're feeding the bad guys and their gas and all that stuff, that shows up in you as the gas and the bloating which is really fascinating. So you want to be feeding the good guys as much as possible these kinds of things so that they don't get taken over by the bad ones. Isn't that cool? So anyway, just to say there's a lot that you can do to be healthy and to take care of yourself um, just by taking out the bad stuff, putting in the good stuff, add a bit of fermented stuff, and you'll be well on your way to getting that body that you want. So on that note, have a great Tuesday. And thank you for tuning in. I see Scott and Audrey and all these people and Benoit. And thank you so much for being here. And to all of you who are watching this later, I hope you get some, some good little nuggets from this. And I welcome your questions because it's a, it's a big topic. It's a new topic. This whole idea of the microbiome and the bugs and all these things. And if, if you can't tell, it's a big thing for me. I just, I get excited talking about it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Send me a private message. Let's keep the conversation going. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.